Hello guys, welcome to another episode of History Yards and on today's episode of History Yards it's going to be exciting, it's going to be wonderful, it's going to be educative. Yeah, so I realized that people don't really know my name, people on this channel don't really know who I am and don't know who, what my name is. So I'm going to do a little introduction before we move on to what you are going to do today. So my name is Melchizedek Afranesapon, yeah, Melchizedek Afranesapon, but people call me Melchi for short so that it will be cute and all uh, and all that so that you don't bite your tongue and all that so let's move straight to the video you so on today's episode of history react we ain't gonna react to any song we ain't gonna react to any music but you are just going to talk about something about the music ministry about the church about church music so let's go so now to today's topic Today, we are going to talk about this wonderful topic that I got and then the topic is why you should have a pastor who understands the music industry. It's quite long, but that's, like, that's the simplest way I can put it. Or importance of having a pastor who understands the music ministry or the music yeah, department or the music ministry. Yeah, something like that. So, we are going to discuss, I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk, uh, 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 um, I'm going to talk about it for a while and I also have some friends over who have recorded some videos who have, who have shared what they think and they are going to tell me what they think in the video you have yeah so let's go so before I, I i i i put out what i think about this topic i told you i have i had some friends over who shared who, who, who sent me what they think about this topic so you are going to listen to what they have to say before i conclude with what i have to say so i'm going to start with a friend of mine he's called richmond and then he recorded this video for me and it's an amazing he said um, a lot of amazing things so i want us to Listen to what he said, so let's go. Hi everyone. Hi everyone, my name is Richmond and this is my take on why you should have a pastor who understands the music and ministry. Personally, I think it is very important because if you have a pastor who understands the music ministry, first of all, his or her members easily connect to what is going on at the church or at the meeting. Because, for instance, if you get a pastor who sings a series of songs or sings a group of songs, I mean, in the same key and all that, you know, you get people following. But then if you get a pastor who sings other songs and then preaches and then sings the next song and changes the key, you get, <laughs> you know, it is, <laughs> it is, I mean, it is something, exactly. So, that's one a reason why I think it is actually a good thing for a person to be mute, musically inclined because the members are able to follow what he or she is doing. Then the second thing is that the person is able to um, relate well with the singers and instrumentalists because they understand the protocol that they follow in their line of ministry. And I think when that is done, if there is love, if there is unity, if there is cohesion in the church or in the ministry. And that goes a long way to bless the ministry or the whole church alive. So, I mean, these are the few reasons why I think that it is. Mm. Yeah, so that's for my friend called Richmond, and that's what he had to say about it. So, he was tackling this topic from the angle of uh, a pastor being musically inclined or a pastor a pastor having uh, being a skilled musician yeah that's a subtopic and that what we are going to talk about today so he was tackling that the topic from that angle so let's move on to another friend of mine that also sent me her uh, thoughts on this topic and you are going to also listen to what she has to say about this so let's go okay so good afternoon with a question i think when you have a pastor that understands the music industry like the church is going to be like awesome because music is everything without without music uh, i don't think a church can move on you get it so if your pastor happens to understand the music industry you guys are blessed because various churches most of the pastors don't understand the music industry all what they know is the tones the, the i'm not saying praying and tones are not good but sometimes the church needs a revival and that revival must come through music because music does everything you get it music heals music inspire music motivates mu music does everything in the church so i think when your pastor understands the music industry 
the church is going to be like their biggest like it's going to be a dope like so that's also what my friend olivia had to say about this topic and i think she was also saying about the impact of a pastor having I uh, understand in the, uh, uh, in the music industry that the impact that will have on the church and the ministries and the mood of it They have great points. So they are all tackling the topic from different angles and last but not least let's uh, go to my big bro My big bro my city and my maestro <laughs> He also has something to say about this and then uh, Charlie people hey, people do squad do <laughs> You'll be there. So squad they pass. So he also has something to say about this and then I'm looking for his audio and all that and all that yeah so let's go yeah, okay so basically i'm uh -huh. toxic um a pastor must be yeah, okay so basically happy toxic um a pastor must be interested i would say more in music because it's not just for the interesting aspect of music but music are actually words and with words hmm, words are spirits yeah so a kind of song we sing in churches actually enthuses the spirit of god to actually what manifest and with that we know the genre of music is actually uh, uh gospel music yeah so in churches we sing gospel music but the pastor should be interested in music generally with the instrumentalist and what the singers in the sense that they are the ones who actually bring up the song. So in even the makeup of the song or in relation to the sermon, um, musicians can actually bring up something and then uh, make the flow very fair. Big bro, my senior and my maestro, baseball Charlie, this guy, uh, I don't talk about him right now. So he also has to say that uh, it also, also come from the angle of the pastor uh, connecting or having this correlation with the choir and that maybe the sermon will be somewhere and uh, the songs will be somewhere he, he also made it clear that uh, the songs that you, you sing in a church will have an impact in the mood and on the on the mood and on the move of the holy spirit yeah so thank you all guys thank you Bisma, thank you olivia and thank you uh, richmond for your all your submissions and god bless you for all your submissions so now let's go to the conclusion or Let's go to what I have to say about this whole topic. So let's now let's go to the reason why a pastor should understand the music industry. So I'll start with a quote from Martin Martin Luther. Martin Luther said that he wouldn't ordain a man who doesn't know music. I don't mean to, uh, was he a bishop or what? But he just quoted it. He wouldn't ordain a man who doesn't know music. So that means that it is very important. Let me let me take my script. Yes, I'm really happy. Point number two. Now, because music is such a crucial part of the church, the pastor, the general overseer, the branch pastor the whatever whatever that you are the head of the church you must have a fair understanding of how the music industry works and you must have a very great why why, why did i use fair fair is just small you must have much knowledge more knowledge of the music industry than your singers and now point number two point number one b you must not necessarily be a skilled musician you must not necessarily be you must not necessarily know how to sing you must not necessarily know how to play a particular instrument you must just understand how the music industry works that is just enough for you to make your music industry work i hope i'm communicating some sensible things you must not necessarily be a music uh, skilled musician know how to play now if you're a pastor you can play you know how to sing great if you're a pastor you know how to play the keyboard great if you're a pastor you know how to play drum you you've, you've worked in the music industry fine but you might not necessarily be a skilled musician to understand the music industry. You must learn. And I, I, I mean myself, I think they must put in the syllabus of those Bible colleges the pastors go to. I was saying they must learn that in as part of their syllabus and all that. Music in the music ministry. Now this is this is very funny and this will be funny to you. When I sat down to do research on this thing and then think about it, meditate on this thing, I just got one reason why your pastor should have be interested in the music industry. I just got one thing, reason, just one reason. Too. Now, this I will read the reason to you right here. I just want to read it to you so that you know that you know that I'm not. I ain't kidding. The pastor is responsible for church worship, and church worship is influenced largely by church music. Now, this is very deep. If I start going to explain this thoroughly, it's going to take all our time. So, the pastor is responsible for church worship now church worship is large church worship is large 
larger than church music but church music church worship is very and largely influenced by the kind of music we sing in our churches and the way the choristers behave and the way the the, 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 the choir ministry is set up and the doubt will greatly affect the worship of the church now worship is not just the time we set apart for worship you but that time in a sentiment worship that is not just worship everything we do in the church is worship now but church music greatly influences the church worship so now if you're a pastor and you don't pay much attention to your church ministry you don't invest in it you don't take care of them you don't minister to them you don't teach them you don't lead by example to your people in terms of church music and church worship now i don't know what you're gonna do now a church that is not doing well in church worship i don't know what what the church is, 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 is established for i'm uh, sorry uh, your church worship is not really important to you i don't know what it, it, it says for you now church worship is everything we do in church from opening prayer to sermon to announcement everything that is church worship the ahabia is worship to god that one is another topic i don't want to go to right now. my last thing i want to say before we bring this video to an end if you want to see a pastor who is interested in his music industry what he or she does for you to know that he's he's very interested in the music industry. now a pastor who is very interested in his music in his or a music industry invest in the music industry now you go to some churches and it's very sad the microphones they are using the keyboards they are using the instrument the speakers Charlie very poor i'm not saying it's not easy it's, it's easy to find money but if you don't have money Charlie try do something you know that these people they want to make this thing work so the tools and equipment they use in sharing the word of God, in doing the music, Charlie, it is if it's not there, it's there. Like if it's not the best, it's somewhere that is very average and it's very good. Some microphones are not working. Charlie, the battery, Charlie. If the drums is even spoil, if you go and tell the church, the pastor, the pastor will be like Charlie, go and use some stick. So they are not interested. They are not interested in the farewell of the music. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I know you've learned something new and then you've learned something you're going to share to your friends. You're going to learn for yourself and I'm very happy to share this thing with you. So before we end, I want to say a very big thank you, thank you to all my friends who came, who came to help me, who, who shared their views, who shared their opinions on this matter and I'm very grateful. God bless you so much. And I want to say thank you for watching this video to this end and if you are new to this channel i want you to like this video share this video and subscribe to this video if you are new on this channel and turn on post notification so that you don't miss my next video so thank you guys see you next week i'm out